right guys, so first thing on the all things small engine tires, uh, we're going to look at where the leak's coming from uh, before you do anything, before you try to take the tire off, before you try to uh, replace the tire in the rim, we're going to check it out. Uh, these tires are actually off of a go-kart that sat in a uh, enclosed trailer for about a decade. So. Uh, the front tires don't hold any air and I've already sprayed them down with soapy water and I found where the leak is but I'm going to show you guys that may never have done this uh, how it, or why it works to find a leak uh, so. so you spray it on there first and foremost because you want to make sure it's not something easy like a valve stem And I hope you guys can see those bubbles coming out of the bead on this tire. These tires are in pretty bad shape. I don't know if you can see that on camera either. But we know it's not the valve stem, which is awesome. That's good news. Uh, we knew we had to replace the tires anyway, but we don't have to replace that valve stem if we don't want to. However, I am going to show you guys how to replace a valve stem since this is all things tires. You can buy a kit like this on Amazon. It comes with anything and everything you'd ever need for replacing valve stems. And I think it's like 16 bucks. So you've got a couple different tools here. And this is actually for threading, re-threading stripped valves, this tool that comes with it. So this is worth the 16 bucks. Now, most people think that you got to replace this entire thing. I shouldn't say most, but I imagine that as if you see this as one assembly, you assume that if this goes bad, you have to replace this whole thing. That is not typically the case. You take your valve stem removal tool. Can you see it here? And here's another guy. And this is going to wet all the air off, so I hope it's not too loud. You just thread it out. And replacing a valve stem, if you had sprayed this with soapy water and you got a bunch of bubbles coming out of this valve stem, this is the culprit. Super easy to replace. You take that, you take a new one out of the bag, put it in, thread it until it's just snug. You don't have to over tighten it at all. And voila, you're done. Uh, but I will show you on this one before we get to the next thing, which is taking the tires off and replacing the tires, how you would replace this. These are a son of a gun to get in and out, which is why you need the soapy water. Or they make an actual lubricant for this, if I remember correctly. So let's say you were getting, well, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put the valve stem back in. Just for funsies. Snug it up. blast a little bit of air in there. So we've already sprayed it with soapy water. We know the valve stem's not bad, but let's say it is this rubber assembly. There we go. You're gonna start getting bubbles at the rubber assembly. Can you see that? So what you do is, you take your valve stem core out, let the air off the tire, and you just finish cutting that off. 
and it should just break off. And if not, you cut that out of there. Okay? You can just push that through. Just like that. So we'll do it on this one too. We might as well replace them just for funsies. Since I'm screwing with them. Bingo. So now I'm going to show you guys how to take the tires off next, but let's talk about getting one of these valve stems back in. Like I said, this little guy is kind of a bear to get in these sometimes. So, soapy water. be a little bit careful but sometimes it helps if you stretch it out when you pull it in wiggle it in pops right in so I hope you guys can see that I hope my big noggin wasn't in the way you've got a brand new valve and you're good to go easy day easy day Set that aside because now that I've shown you that, super simple. I want to show you how to break the bead on these tires and replace these tires. Just gonna shift right over here. Oh man, almost like I planned it. All right. So this thing here is a $45 tool that if you are working on small engines in the winter like I do in order to create a little bit of revenue, this $45 tool is um, worth its weight in gold. So you can swap these out, make a few bucks really fast and easy. They work on wheelbarrow tires, go-kart tires, ATV tires, the whole bit. You slide it on there the base in this first assembly pretty self-explanatory then you take your centering spacer your nylon spacer and this nut which believe it or not it is a nut thread it on these beads are tough to break believe it or not once they've been set and even though it's leaking we still got to give it its proper respect because it is not something that it's very difficult to break the or to damage the rim so you're going to want to try to use these or screwdrivers do not please spend the 45 minutes worth the time and energy and I'll show you why this is your bead breaker and it just goes just like so just like that and now that your air is out put your foot up next to the rim Boom. 
You see how hard that was or how hard that came off? That's why I wouldn't recommend digging a pry bar or a screwdriver in there by any means. By any means. Okay. So now, we take it apart. while I'm taking this apart, I should mention that working on small engines, especially if you're in an area that has a lot of snow, but you don't want to do snow removal, it's a pretty nice market to fix um, snow blowers. Because we had a ton of snow last year and it fixed a lot of snow blowers and a lot of generators. Now you lube it up with your soapy water, put your centering spacer back on, nylon spacer, thread this down. This time around, when you put your on you want to break it and then you want to take this arm like a wrench tighten that top thing down and I'll show you why in just a second don't caveman it but Tighten it just enough. Take the bead breaker off. Take this magical tool. And this is how you get the tire off. Just ball in. Give it another spray with soapy water just for fun so you don't mess up your rim too bad because you're going to mess it up a little bit. And then put it on the other side. You're gonna go clockwise with it. Put that ball in the tire. And shift this, it's gonna shake a little bit. Put that ball in the tire. And you just give it a spin. Then, the other side's broken, or it should be. I have to go back to the other side and break that a little bit more. This may happen. So here's a bonus, if you guys run power washing trailers and you buy spare trailer tires, you can buy a big one of these for less expensive. A big one of these is actually like 40 bucks or under 40 bucks. Just notice that that bearing needs replaced too. So maybe we will go over bearing replacement at some point. Soap it up again. It takes a couple extra seconds, and who knows if it helps even another 2%. Oh, there we go. Because we don't want to fight this thing off there. 
you're trying to save good rims. Centering bushing on there, nylon bushing. Thread this monkey back on. Now, this is one of the trickier parts. I don't know if I can. Can you see that space down in there? Hope so. Because now, what you're going to do is you're just going to get that slid between that bottom part. I can show you here. All right, it's going to get shaky again for this second, guys. I'll put it back. You put that ball right on there. Okay. that's done for a little bit because now you just go clockwise with it remember when I said that you should give this a little extra a little extra snugness that's so stuff doesn't spin in there like it's doing right now there we go should keep it just fine Bingo. Tires off. When you go to take the tire off and put it back on, you want it pretty snug. Because now, it's just the reverse. And here's the fun part. The very first side sometimes will go on just like butter. Super easy. And let's see if that's the case here. Maybe a um, gritty margarine. 
And then this side of this tool, out the ball end, this side, you're going to hook over your nylon bushing, put it down on the tire rim. Can you see this? Boop. You're going to hang on to your tire. If not, it's going to slide. Like this. Now for patching tires. This is my favorite. And I could go grab bags or new kits out of every vehicle that I got. Uh, and everybody that I care for gets one of these too. Because they're about the easiest and fastest and best way to repair a hole. At least long enough to get you back into a um, tire shop so i would not use the foam uh, some tire shops will not even uh, entertain replacing a tire swapping out a tire if you use that fix a flat foam so let's do this here we got a quarter inch hole these fix a flat kits and i like the slime deluxe tire plug kit because it comes with a little bit of this. And I haven't seen that before. But I think it does make a difference. So, let's say you had a nail in there. It comes with a reamer. That nail went in there cockeyed or it's smaller than a quarter inch and you need to be able to ream it out. You put the reamer in there and just file it out and then you take your replacement you see there's a few of these missing there's at least two on the tundra right now and they've been holding there for months so the tricky part is it comes with this little tool here trying to get some of this stuff pulled through so it might make sense to even put a cheap pair of pliers in the bag with it. Just getting this through is the only hard part really. Screwdriver, pair of pliers, get it through far enough that you can tug on it. There we go. Put it right in the middle, 50-50. Coat it with the rubber cement. Then, you 
slam it in there as far as you can get it. I should have put air in the tire, but. You can get it all the way down to where only about a half inch sticks out. You give it a quick, fast, hard tug. Can you guys see that? Now you just cut it off with a razor knife as flush as you can. And you are back in business. Now that'll hold air. Uh, maybe not on this tire because I've beat the death out of it and I don't have the bead set all the way after putting it back on but um, there you go there's all things small engine go-kart and ATV tires I hope that's helpful thanks for watching